Freaking. What do you what do you mean I can't have 14 cups of coffee in one day? Whatever! Yeah. Whatever, coffee person! I'll have 15 now! <laughs> That's good! <sighs> good thing I have these exotic butters. So what? Oh, you shouldn't eat butter all the time. It's not good for your health. You'll get a heart attack or whatever. Whatever, doctor. <laughs> whatever, doctor, huh? These are my exotic butters. These are my exotic butters. Anyway, I'm glad I... Oh, man. How long has this been recording for? Oh, shoot. 15 hours. Huh. Yeah, I guess I should have come back in the room and then talked. Whatever. Anyway, I'll just edit this all out. Anyway, let me take this off because it's the freaking. I'm tired. I was out all day gathering evidence. <sighs> so, whatever, look terrible. You look terrible. Screw all you. Wait, no. Bef before, before you all you go screw. The, 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 the screwdriver, sonic screwdriver, your your thing, your piece of screw on the wood. <coughs> oh God! I hope that wasn't important. Before 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 you all go do something, whatever I said, I don't know. My mind is like really fifty times after the fifth cup or something like that. Before you do that, you're probably thinking, Oh, fuck the house master, the five nights of Freddy's lore is so complicated, nobody can even stuff it, not even Matthew Patchew. Well, well, guess what? I, I solved FNAF. Deal with it. Yeah, I solved Five Nights at Freddy's. All of you, all of you should subscribe now, because that's what it takes to solve FNAF, the subscribe button. So you all should do it. As you can see right here, here is all my evidence that I used to solve Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, clearly, Five Nights at Freddy's is no easy topic, so I'm going to have to finish this coffee real quick. Oh, 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 God. Fight through it. Fight through the heart attacks. Fight through the, the death. Fight through it like remnants. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, right. For Murray, for murder, for furry robots. The murder man, right. So, clearly... Five Nights at Freddy's is a very, very complicated topic. And not everybody has the big brains to solve the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. Uh, wait, is this still recording? Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Amnesia. Uh, coffee amnesia. Whatever. Caffeine will do that. <laughs> but obviously, it takes a big brain, like myself, to solve the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. That's why none of you people... Watching or on this planet can solve it cuz cuz I'm different. I'm built different. So Yeah, but anyway As you can see I've made a complex chart exactly on how the five nights at Freddy's lore can be solved So let me just pick this up and we'll go through each thing piece by piece now This is pretty DIY, but you know what why? Solve something this easy. Why would I DI try? <laughs> Theory videos out there with 20 plus hours of work. Ha! <laughs> Not. I got a piece of corkboard and a bunch of tacks that I basically cut all my fingers on. So there. Now, we, uh, we uh, should probably start on the first original, the OG right there. Freddy Fazbear, uh, the game, the game, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, right, the original game. Now, clearly, they connect to the new games through Help Wanted, which is clearly the exact same gameplay over, but just 3D-er. 
if you want to call it that. It's not 3D because obviously it's on a it's on a screen, a flat screen like the like this ruler, but even flatter. It's like infinitely flat, but whatever. It's on a flat screen. So as you can see, you have the crying child um, right here. He's a crying little. He's a crying little. Crying little baby. He's a little baby. Go 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 gaga. Even though he can maybe speak. But as you can see right there, Gregory looks very similar to the crying child, doesn't he? Doesn't he look very similar? Especially with the little bandage on his leg? With the bandage on his leg that's not even the game, that's in the new book, the new encyclopedia, that's, that's full of every information possible, correct, clearly, why would, it's an encyclopedia, it's in the name, why would we question anything? So, with the bandage on Gregory's leg, with the brown hair, the shirt, the shorts, the whole, the whole shebang, shaboom with the boy, it's clearly the same kid. And, you might be thinking, what about this kid? Well, that's Garrett, Mike's younger brother, Mike's younger brother, Mike Schmidt, you know, Michael, Mike, he has a different name. He took, like, probably his mom's name because he hated his dad because his dad was a murderer. Uh, this guy, the, the, the furry Afton man. The furry Afton man right there. Yeah. We, we hate him. We, we, we love, but we love how he looks sometimes. But, but anyway, he's the older brother of the kid Garrett. And Garrett looks also like the crying child with the skin and the brown hair. So it's clearly the same character. And, and then it's Michael Afton, who becomes a purple corpse right there. I know what it's like. I've done it. It's very hard. But anyway, and clearly it's the same Mike across it. Like, you could tell. You could see it with the brown hair and the fair skin. It's clearly the same Mike, and he's a security guard, just like in the games. It's clearly the same Mike. But that's not it. That's not all. Then we have William Afton over here. Mr. I always must come back to kill everyone. Mr. I always must come back. And as you can see, he goes by names like Steve Raglan and Dave. Dave. Like, what, 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 Steve and Dave? What, 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 what is this? A simple name day or whatever? Maybe it is in the FNAF universe. Maybe that's a real holiday. Do you know how many holidays exist in the world? It... <laughs> It is a lot. Oh, more days over, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. That's more. I care a lot. But let's move on. Now, as you can see here, Afton is also the Yellow Rabbit. But we'll get back to the Yellow Rabbit later. We need to talk about Vanessa. Beautiful, innocent Vanessa. Where she looks very similar to, to, uh, to Elizabeth Afton, the daughter of uh, and the sister of, of William, the daughter, and the, 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 the sister of Michael, and the crying child. So the green eyes, the blonde hair, the cop aesthetic, clearly it's just her grown up. Maybe she's a robot rebuild or something. There's some pretty compelling theories in the novel. She's acting like a robot. It could work out just like Charlie from the novels that Henry, William's business partner, made. It, it could pos It's so possible, especially with... Things like illusion discs that we know are in the games, like from Funtime Freddy, and the which is in the novels right there. You can see he's in the on the novel, and he's in the books, and in the, in the games. He's in the games too. So clearly, it, it's possible illusion disc by Afton Robotics. Could, 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 it could totally work, even if like, <coughs> even if basically. They're, they're, like, it, it, it just makes sense how, how Michael can even look like a real person again in Fast Bear Frights number, uh, number 12, Felix the Shark, where in that story, he, he, nobody's freaking out or talking about how he should be, like, purple or whatever, but, but, but he's, he's, he's normal, apparently, so it could totally be either the past, where he looks normal before all that, which makes no sense, or he's a purple, but his skin, corpse, man, but he has an illusion disc, the thing he grabbed from the handy unit told him to in Funtime Freddy's chest cavity. It totally works. And, and, that, and that's not it. Back to, da uh, to Dave slash William slash Steve over here. He's the yellow rabbit. And you might be asking, wait a minute. How in 1993 when FNAF 1 takes place and he should get spring locked, how does he go on to survive in 1995, 96, and maybe 97 in the novels? Well, guess what? We see he survived the spring lock incident before. Those scars could have been the ones from the game that we see. I totally become Springtrap when he dies in a fire and gets burned later. Maybe the, the, the animatronics shoved him into 
Springs lock suit again to make sure he wouldn't escape this time. It's, it's, it's totally possible, guys. It, I mean, we don't even see him shirtless at all. We just see him in a, in a normal outfit and in the rabbit suit. So we don't know if there are scars under there. We don't. It's totally very likely. And then Henry. Oh, oh, man. What a great guy, Henry. Great father. Brilliant inventor. But unfortunately, he dies through it to suicide. It's such a tragedy. It really is. But as you can see in the games, H R Y two two three H E R H E R N Y. It's li it's no H E N R Y. It Henry. It's clearly should be the same guy across it with his family. And Death's guy also dies very similarly to how Henry dies in the novels, where basically Death's guy, as you can see, he he kills himself after creating an animatronic that's revealed to be baby. And then the fourth Charlie by in the fourth closet novels, in, in the in the novels with the fourth closet, is revealed to be a version of baby, um, due to William Afton's like. Like his uh his uh, he's uh, his tampering and with the illusionists and stuff like that. It's clearly Desk Guy is a version of of Henry. It's not Scott Cotton because Anim dude's in the game. Anim dude's a version of Sky. So clearly it should be Sky. But maybe who knows? But th that's a little more speculation. But I think it's very clear because Scott Cotton isn't dead. Clearly he's not dead. He's not a robot. <coughs> anyway, anyway. Moving on, as you can see in the novels, we even see the robot with all of the blood on the knife. Look, the red blood, the red blood on the red. It, it, it all adds up, but it's not that red blood. It's not William's red blood. It's it's Henry's red blood. And then we have the fun time animatronics who are in the games and the novels, as we can see, especially just, just with the cover, where the twisted ones look like, in the graphic novels, proto versions of the fun times, which... It even makes more sense that William is being or inspired by is taking stuff or inspired by Henry's gen like ingeniousness. It's 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 insane. It, it all works so much. But now you're now we get to the real real hard stuff to really parse through. Now, clearly, as you can see right here, you might be wondering who this is. This is Ella, a doll that Henry made to be a replica. Uh, originally, it was a normal doll, but then he changed the doll into his his a younger version of his daughter because his daughter died rest in peace charlie but then you have things like the movie version of ella which looks so similar the white the, the plastic white face the rosy cheeks the hair even like the hat it's clearly the same doll just upscale because we know henry makes bigger charlie bots to, 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 to be bigger like a normal person it, it all adds up it all adds up it's not that hard to figure it out if it looks like a doll, it acts like a human, and it walks like a robot, it's clearly the same exact thing. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, what, what, what's going on here? Why is, how, why are the books here? That's right. Not just the novels connect to the games, the books. The books and the, and the movie, the books, the, all the books are also connected. You have Illusion Disc, which connects to the Remnant Pendant. The Remnant Pendant, which may be a version or form of Illusion Disc, as we know through... Um, Long giraffe baby, um, um uh, uh, it, her name's not important. We don't give a crap about Eleanor. We don't care about her name. I don't even remember Eleanor's name. Why would I remember her name? But anyway, then we have right here. So you can maybe maybe make out. She's wearing the the remnant pendant, which is the same one that Frailty uses with the girl Jessica. Great story. I recommend. I really recommend it. I, I seriously recommend it. But seriously, it's so supposed to be the exact same like type of story and yet they're in two ver different book series tales from the piece of place with frailty fast bear frights with to be beautiful so clearly supposed to be the same thing there's even stories where agony like certain people have like black liquid and fluid draining out of their bodies or coming out of their bodies it's clearly supposed to be agony which ties the books even further to each other and if the novels tie to the games and then the games and then the frights tie to the novels then tales ties to the novels it all adds up it all adds up and then even more so, where, where the Tales from the Pizza Plex books are, from the, are tied to the Pizza Plex, which ties back to Gregory and the Crying Child in the main games, 
which it all comes from Security Breach as well, where the Mimic, THE MIMIC, is here! He's here! That's the story! It's literally called The Mimic! Which, right there, he, he comes in the form of, like, many things, like Tiger Rock, and, like, probably, uh, maybe Glitch Trap in some way. And then in Ruin, we see the Mimic with the orange eyes, which is a characteristic he should have in the books. And he even has, like, Flesh, which may or may not be Burn Trap, which is a whole nother connection connecting back to the games. Like, with Scrap Trap and, 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 and William, with and, and, and Spring Trap. It all connects. Don't you all see? I solved Five Nights at Freddy's! I solved it! Good job, sports! Ugh. Ugh. Nah. Nah. Stick! No! You're gonna ruin the finale! Nah. <laughs> after a decade after, after a decade I did it I solved five nights at Freddy's I did I did it Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a god dang minute. Was Map Hat right all along? Phone guy. Phone guy. S William Afton, Steve, calls on the phone to Mike. Like in FNAF 1. Map Pat was right all along! Hello everyone, thank you so much if you did see this video, um, just want to let you know, I really really am sorry if this is like on more April 2nd in certain parts of the world than April 1st, I'm really really sorry, things have just been a little bit, uh, a little bit tight with my schedule, certain things just keep changing here and there with certain days and certain works, like, I am doing college and I have to do lots of work, uh, not just for YouTube, but also in, in general. So I just wanted to let, but I'm, this isn't going to be a rant like the last video. This was just like a funny little April Fool's thing. So I'm sorry if it's more April 2nd than April 1st, but in certain part of the world, it should be April 1st. Um, either way, it's the month of April. Just go for April Fool's the whole thing. I'm not sure if anybody really does that or if it's just April 1st. I'm pretty sure it's just April 1st because it's like April Fool's Day. But this whole thing was just an April Fool's joke. I swear, I don't literally think that everything in FNAF is connected in one universe. Like, in one, like, singular timeline or universe. I don't literally think that in any way. Please, like, 
you know, I'm just, this was just April Fool's, I swear. I know there are multiple continuities in FNAF. I know that is a fact. It's just some of the stuff is a little hard to deduce, like with frights and tails, and I know that's a whole argument, but this was just a joke, I swear. That being said, I want to keep this as short as possible at the end. I want to start making Five Nights at Freddy's Theory videos. I'm already um, writing out a script or two. I'm almost actually, I'm actually getting to this first, it might be the first video. And I will give you a hint right now on what it's going to be connected about. All right, that's not much of a hint. But then again, it's not actually that... Re it, it, it's not about Mike. It's not about Mike, but it's very related about... It's very related to Mike. But anyway, just letting you know, Finance of Freddy's Theory is coming along the way. It's been 10 years, and since the main theory's map pad is gone now... Also, I didn't get to really show this off in the video, I realize. Um, right here, old classic game theory merch. Right there. I have a theory, which I really wish I got to, but I kind of just wanted to make this a really messy video. I'm literally recording this uh, not too long before midnight. I literally have made this thing. Um, also, shout out to She's Craft Delicious. Um, very much so. She's the one who uh, helped me cut and print out a lot of this. And very much, uh, like, it was very last minute. I just kind of did this. I had the idea on like March 31st and then today's April 1st as I'm recording this and it's almost midnight. So once again, it's probably going to be a little delayed in certain parts of the world, like past April, but whatever. Basically, thanks for all the help on this. I hope you all <laughs> had a blast with this funny one. Who knows? Maybe next year when I, if I have like a good amount of FNAF theories really piled up on the channel, which I'm not going to become a FNAF channel, FNAF only channel. It's just that there's a lot of theories I want to talk about because I think I actually did maybe so help solve the lore Ooh, map pad energy uh game theory energy over here i don't know i have a lot of actual interesting ideas they're all just theories but i feel really confident about them and just seeing like the last 10 years of theory channels just coming out after game theory and many many new ones since security breach and a few other things i think i want to throw my hat into the ring and see what happens now i know it can get very violent in the community but i really love it i think it's a very passionate fan base and sometimes passionate people can really just get a little riled up if you don't see what they see eye to eye but this is a landscape full of this like <laughs> it's not supposed to really be easy to solve when you this just this alone caused problems for like years the only game well not the only game like the, the main scott cawthon games those caused problems already from fnaf 1 through 3 it was more or less simple not everything was solved at that time but after 4 everything basically just got confusing so please be respectful in the community so all I want to say, I don't want to make this too long because this is just supposed to be the ending segment, uh, segment, even though it's already turning into like five minutes or whatever. So anyways, have a good night or a good day, wherever you are. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please crash into the like button, crash into the subscribe button, crash into the notification bell for the Five Nights at Freddy's Theory I'm coming out with because I think a lot of you are really going to like it. It's very, very interesting. And I will see you all later. Let them on.